G'day there mate, my name is Mr. McGillicuddy and welcome back once again to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing on the, the story of uh, Dark Chronicles. So in a previous episode, we made our, gave, made our way once again through the underground water channel, found our way to Slotsam again, who has that robot clown of his, Halloween. <laughs> Bit of an odd name for a uh, robotic clown, but eh. what can you do? So into so also, once we beat a bear with two Stedrick, who is now on the uh, Blackstone Railroad train, now heading to the outside world. So today, we are under attack by someone, so we're going to head south of the train and find out what is going on. Yeah. That was a lot to get through. Sorry about that. I'm just mentally exhausted, should I be doing as many videos in one go, but I'm an idiot, what do you expect? Alrighty, now before I get started, I've done this before, but I might as well do it again. You want to take a couple of pictures of the firehouse here and the coal. Those are some more ideas, Oops. Uh, some more ideas for inventing here, so put those in the book. Not yet. Okay, so I kind of have to make our way to the window up here. Sorry, the door on top of the train. Okay, I'm going to go quiet here for a sec. Serious trouble. Time to fight back, son. Sounds like a good idea, but how? Here, use this. So I throw this? Yep. You toss it, and I'll grab another one. Just keep tossing them. I'm not so sure if this. All right, I'll do it. Time to show him who's boss. Okay, so Blossom is back again and he's an even more <laughs> bigger pain than ever. So what we're gonna do here is throw these, throw these bombs at him. We already know how to pick up items. So now we don't have access to our guns yet. So what you just wanna do is just chuck them down to the ground like this. But what you really want to do is to make sure that you got a good distance between him and the bomb. So get a bit closer upwards and chuck. Okay, now this is going to be a bit more difficult. You really need to get some serious aim here, otherwise... Oh my God. I'm just losing the train all together. There we go. That's done some damage. Alright, so Max will automatically go back to the front of the train here. So, make sure you got a good aim on slots from here. Okay, one more hit and we're done. Well, he's done, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you saw he uses the arms of the car to jump across, so they're just not for decoration, people. <laughs> I know. Doesn't look good, Max. He's gonna blow himself up along with this whole train. Yeah, but did he need really need to take off all his clothes and show his underwear? Really? What? <laughs> Lob another one of those bombs at me! Come on now! Do it! Oh no. Hey, mister! 
Don't you ever give up. You're starting to look pretty pathetic. What's this? Another little brat? Oh, I see. So you want to die too? Hmm? Sure, why not? Let's go, punk. It's time to burn. What's this? It's you! How did you... Talk about getting burnt so many times. So that was how I met Monica. Even though it was the first time we'd met, I felt like I'd known her for a long time. Eventually, in the middle of the forest, the train couldn't go any further. Yeah, Flossum took some burns both verbally and physically. <laughs> Gonna take some work to move that one. That's fine with me. I've got things to do here. This place is the spirit forest, Sindane. But it's different than in my time. Monica came from the future. She came to this time to do something very important. That's what she told me. believe time travel was possible. It's crazy, but this was only the beginning of our unbelievable adventure. The real surprises were still ahead of us. If we could restore the Great Elder's origin point, he could tell us who Griffin really is. The origin point? Yes, an origin point is where something begins. Like a flower, you first have to plant the seed in the soil before it will bloom. In that case, the action of planting the seed is the origin point of the flower. In that way, the flower is the history that springs from the origin point. In the same way, all things that happen in the future have their origin point in the past. But if that origin point is changed, the results can be terrible. And that's what Griffin has done. Griffin has sent his henchmen to this time, altering the origin points of my time. And now he is rewriting history as he sees fit. In my time, this forest was where the Elder of the Spirits, Jurak, lived. He was very wise and powerful. His great power purified the forest and gave vitality to all the living things in it. But Griffin erased Jurak from existence. And not only Jurak, all those with the power to challenge Griffin are being erased from existence too. I don't think he'll stop until he's wiped out the entire world. So, someone has to stop him. Even now, my comrades are fighting Griffin in the future. And Max, I need you to help us. Huh? Me? Yes, you have to. Uh... Okay. I'll do it. All right! I knew you would. Guess we're a team now, right? And with that, Monica joined my adventure. An adventure to take back the true past. The true history that had been stolen by Emperor Griffin. Chapter 2 Resurrection of the Great Elder Okay, so Monica now has joined our party. Selected the main menu to switch characters, 
we'll just hold down L the L3 button. The Team 5 armband repair powder. Okay, now, unlike Max, Monica uses um, uses armbands, which is for magic. So basically, gun repair powder won't work on that armband. So we have to use the armband repair powder instead. <clears throat> okay. Let's start with Sindane. Sindane? Max, you go on without me. I'll just stay here and work on getting Blackstone running again. If you need my help, just holler. Hey, Max, we're gonna have to work hard to shift this boulder. Bring back anything good you find in the forest. Make sure you let us know if you need a hand. Okay, take care of yourself, Max. And you too, little girly pie. You bet! Okay, let's go. Oh. <clears throat> you can now use the train to move around. Choose leave from the train door menu to return to Palm Brinks to do some shopping. As more people join your adventure, put them on the train. You can have your friends under Jane immigrate to the Geom Georama areas or go into the dungeon if you have support characters. That is something I will be getting into in a little bit once we actually get some characters for that. Now our first order of business here is we have to go down this way. We can't go into there yet, yeah, not until we uh, have a talk to the residents here. First, let's just do some quick saving here. So, I'm going to have to start using a different save file here. Okay, so we're on chapter 2, Resurrection of the Great Elder. Okay, let's get on to it. Go to Sindane, yes please. all by itself. That's kind of weird. Let's check it out. Yeah. Someone's there. Wow. Ah. What is it? What do you two want? Hey, you're from the Furbit tribe of Sindane, aren't you? It's so cute, all curly and everything. Okay, that is painful. Born in Bullet there with one mustaches. <laughs> hey! Hey! That's right. There's something I want to ask you, okay? You, you, this is how you ask a favor? Yeah, give me the most convincing way if you ask me. Oh, sorry. a being here named Jurak. Ah! I wonder why he got so mad. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> really, Max? I don't think you just saw that. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Monica, I thought you were the more mature out of the group. Goodness gracious me. Alright, so, who's up to the front door here? Nobody's home! I hear the Furbits are crazy about grape juice. And we brought all this grape juice, too. Now what are we gonna do? If he won't let us in, I guess we'll just have to throw it away. Come in! <laughs> Talk about trickery. <laughs> hey, it worked! Well, look! 
Look at that! Three of them! What? Oh, you want the grape juice, huh? Well, it'll cost ya! You could little. Hmm, let's see. I've heard you furbits have a mysterious magical power to make things like houses and plants. What are you getting at? I want you to use that power to help us. Help you? You probably know there's something strange going on. The whole world has become like one big deserted island. Everything's disappeared. At this rate, there won't be anything left in the future. I want you to use your building power to rebuild a town in this time. No way! It's too much work. Besides, we got no time for that, so just run along now, will ya? What do you mean you don't have time for that? <laughs> Even if I told you, it wouldn't change a thing. Hold on, Rococo. <gasps> okay, you two, I think I understand. Come on over here and have a seat. The name's Conda. This here's Rococo. And this is Tobo. Pleased to meet you. So, who might you two be? I'm Monica. I'm Max. Nice. You know there's something wrong with the world, right? A great darkness is trying to distort the flow of time. Hmm. I was beginning to wonder about what was happening to our forest. Of course, I'd like to help out, but... To be honest, we're in a bit of a fix ourselves. Even if we wanted to, we can't help you till we solve our own problems. What's wrong? Tell us about it. It's a long story, but it must have been about a year ago or so. One day, a beautiful woman got lost and wandered in here. We don't like humans too much, so we approached her carefully. Humans are crafty, cunning creatures. That's how we've always thought of you. But this woman was different, she was. Her soul was more beautiful than words can describe. Said her name was Holly. I had a feeling that wasn't her real name, but that didn't matter a bit. During the few days and weeks she was with us, she wove a sort of spell over us all. She had us in the palm of her hand. Then, one day after the blue, something happened. Holly left to search for food, and just disappeared into the forest, never to return. A few days went by, and still no Holly. We were so sad, it was like our hearts had been broken into a million little pieces. There was no way we could go on without her. In those few short weeks, she had become an essential part of our lives. She was part of us all. So we formed a search party to search for Holly. A party of four set out for Rainbow Butterfly Wood, where she disappeared that day. But those four haven't come back yet either. I was sure I picked the most able-bodied of our tribe, but they turned out to be a bunch of goofs. So basically, at this point in time, I'm afraid we can't help you two out. You want us to use our special powers to help you, but the thing is, all seven of us have to be here in order for it to work. Besides, we're really not in a helping mood. I'm pretty sure you understand. That's quite a story. Mm. I have a proposition to make. I bet I can guess. You want us to go into the woods and find your four friends, right? You mean you'll help us? Could you also keep an eye out for Ollie? Each day without her brings us nothing but gloom. I understand. Four or five, what's the difference? So what does this Holly look like anyway? Any special features? Special features, let me see. Must have been something. Um, uh, ah, her hair. It was long, I think. No, wait. Maybe it was short. I think. 
Wait, that's it. The potato pies used to make were the greatest. That's right, they were mighty tasty. Yeah, incredible. Huh, <sighs> forget it. Potato pie? That reminded me of the potato pies you made for me when I was a kid. They were so warm, eating them would always cheer me up. The most delicious potato pies in the whole world. Could it be the holly that the Furbits talked about was actually you, Mother? Just thinking that made my heart beat faster. This was the other reason that I wanted to see the world, so that I could find you again, Mother. Even though the world had been laid waste, I had a feeling that you were out there. Somewhere. It's just beyond here. Lately there seem to be some nasty monsters living in these parts. Watch yourselves now! Legend has it that in these woods lives a mysterious rainbow-colored butterfly. And anyone who lays eyes upon that butterfly never leaves the woods again. You know, I wonder if Holly and the search party we sent out went and accidentally found themselves that rainbow butterfly. Just be careful not to run into that rainbow butterfly. What do you mean, be careful? What could we possibly do to prevent it? If that happens... If that happens? Just pretend you didn't see it. Man, that's some useful advice. Huh? Well, whatever. Okay, we're off. Oh, take this with you, boy. What's this? It's the Furbit's favorite thing in the world, grape juice. If you have this with you, those guys just might smell you and come running. Okay, I got you. Thanks, Conda. Good. I'll be here waiting for you. I wish you good luck. Okay, so the Furbits wanted to look for their four friends and Holly. You know, this actually gives me a um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves vibe. Seven more men and a woman coming to live with those men. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got a new dungeon open, the Rainbow Butterfly Woods. Now, before I actually go there, I'm going to head back to Palm Springs for a sec and quickly talk to Donnie, just to, just to see if he has any um, new scoops for us. Oh yeah, on a side note, now that we've got the train, we can actually invite people to come to the outside world with us. They will have certain requirements before they will actually join us. Donnie is also one of those exceptions. Now, you see the object here being my friend. I'll go over that in a sec, just hold on. I figured out some more scoops. Okay, so... Are you my friend? The shop's close. You have to go to my old man's shop instead. Look for the pumpkin, I'm sure you'll see, see it. It's just at the top of that ladder. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can do that yet. I think we can do that later on, I don't know. I think we have to help the, help the Furbits first before we can actually do that. Alright, so we're going to go to the Rainbow Butterfly Woods. Alrighty, so first area here is uh, the Frightening Forest. We have a time limit, time limit to defeat the enemies, 4 minutes and 45 seconds, and two more which are crossed out, and uh, finally, 
another chance to defeat all enemies using only Monica's sword. So that's going to be quite a bit of work. Okay, so we're going to be playing as Monica for a little bit. Now, unlike Max, Monica is more of a fast striker. Excuse me. Her attacks are a lot more faster than Max's uh, when he's swinging his wrench around. Now, uh, once again, we want to push the L3 button if we want to uh, push the Monica. Frickly. That's actually fishing bait, and yes, that's fishing in the game. Skills and soldiers can actually do this before. Yeah, the skills and soldiers are a lot more faster than what they were in the previous game. Whew. Okay, I might as well do some breath here. Yeah, it's not enemy to this guy. Wait a minute, there's about a heap of them in here. Okay, another one down. Let's go get... Now the rocks here are what the uh, crates would be uh, back in uh, the underground water channel. So throw them, break them over, and see what we get in them. Found some bread. Oh, that's nice. We've got a roasted chestnut. Now this is going to be an important item for later on. While it does count as a healing item, this is going to... Oh, no, 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 no. We've got the poison status here. Okay, if you saw the, that uh, purple skull on the uh, underneath our uh, active item bar, that means that they were poison. So, once again, like the first game, we need to use antidote if we want to remove the poison. I need to get that careful. Got another classic gun. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yep, a bad one. That's another another fishing bait. Now, unlike the first game where you unlock fishing from the uh, from the big starting chapter back in a. Uh, no village, I believe it was. You actually find it here in the second chapter, the fishing rod. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful here. Oh, rod hot here. That's handy. Some more bread. Very much. Okay, this is a sticky status here, which means we move a lot more slower. Forest do. Okay, this item here is another material item, actually. Do I have any? No, I don't have any soap left anymore. Ugh, I should have run back to the shop and actually get some more repair power. Okay, the fairy sword here, that is actually the, the gate key needed to proceed to the next floor. So it looks like I'm stuck like this for a while. I don't know if you can actually get rid of this sticky status from going into a uh, standing in some water here, but uh, uh, I'll have to find out later on. Okay, so we've got a map of the area. Now, I know I don't have to do this, but sometimes I just... 
Ooh, that was close. I know being out of the class on it. Yeah, like in the previous game, the skeletons can come back to life. Oh my god, really? Yeah, now it's down. Unless you see a health ball go away, it won't be down. Uh, fully. Okay, another rock. Hopefully I don't have to take out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, then we've got here. Something to repair. Got a couple of bags of repair powder. That's always nice. How many more enemies do I have in Oh, I didn't realize I was poison. Okay, so unlike the first game, uh, statuses always stack up on you. So you have to be careful. So we've got four more enemies in, the, in this wall here. And we got a another power crystal. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I had to adjust my leg. It was hard in a bit. Anyway, I want you downwards. So we're going to find them guys. Okay, so let's make our way up here. Open those two chests and take on those four enemies. Then we can leave this floor and remove our status of Monica. Yeah. And a good way to start off the demonstration for her. <laughs> Ooh! Okay, that actually scared me. Hey there, how's it going buddy? It's Happy Clown present time. Now, which, which one would you like? It be? <laughs> so, like the first game, we have the Happy Clown. He's a lot skinnier this, than this guy, but... Oh my god, I wasn't expecting him to pop out of the box like that. Uh, Red Box. Very good. Here you are. Ugh. Could have got... Could have got a sword there. But, destruction crystals, those are actually really good. Ooh, I need to check my health again. Now, just hold on a sec, guys. I think there was a scoop for the, uh, for the grass here. Hold on. And uh, where is it? Rainbow butterfly. What? The man-eating grass, all the animations, looks like it's 
bouncing his head slowly. Get a picture of her doing that. There we go. Earth element. Okay, now these are more uh, building materials. Oh, what do you know? The uh, goose status actually wears off. Okay, that's much, much better. Okay, so we've got one more skeleton soldier, then we're done with this place. Down and out. Looks that way. Cleared Monica's Ford Wipeout. Yeah, we know about the yellow point in the map. And yeah, it looks like we didn't clear it on time. Eh, no biggie. Okay, now before I continue on to the next floor, I actually want to have a look at Monica's uh, sword real quick. Okay, build up. Looks like I need some for Smash and Beast. Well, that one there, and I need Cyclone and Exorcism, that's basically holy. And for our armband there, got one. Gonna need one for two, some for Attack and Flame, Attack and Cyclone. Now, I'm gonna be uh, bringing up another page for, um, to see what this is. So, I'll be covering that in this episode yet. Also, in the next episode, I'm I'm gonna go around to be uh, looking for um, um, and, and, and all the ideas you can actually get in the first chapter here. I'll be dedicating the video to that. Just the seems right. Okay, poison apple. Okay, here we go. The fairy salt. Salt possession fairy power. A gate key. Jeez. That's a powerful saw. Okay, so this is how we progress to the next floor. Now, I'm going to exit real quick and go back to the station, because I want to show off, uh, like I said in the previous episode, you can actually trade in those uh, crystals to um, to Cedric here, and all of this some good stuff. Well, Steve. All right, so... Um, you abilities okay give you bonus points with weapon with weapon slash part upgrades uh, right part part sales in other words you'll sell a lot more for the right part part so uh, upgrade the right part and as you see here we got different parts here we got the improved core heart component Assemble your own robot design. Okay. So we're going to need 900 EXP for that. The barrel cannon, made from a water barrel, but it doesn't shoot water. And we've got the caterpillar. Travel smoothly over bumpy roads, but slow. And we have the voice unit here. Voice unit for the right bot. Quite the chatterbox. <laughs> Much like Steve in the first game. <laughs> and the shield kit. Attach this kit to the bo body parts to raise defense. So basically, this will raise uh, Steve's defense quite considerably, so, yeah. Now, I think there is a limit of how much um, EXP the ride part can hold, uh, depending on its core, so that's why you're going to have to upgrade the core a lot more. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly head back to Palm Brinks to do a bit of shopping, if it's not too late in the day. Because, yeah, the shops do open at certain times of day. Ah, here we go. I was wondering how you can do sword items out. Welcome. 
Okay, so... What with this stuff? Is there any hive? Well, I don't really need two of them, so... Nope, I probably should not have done that. And as for the bait hit, I'm actually going to be keeping that because fishing is going to be a lot more proactive than it was in the first game. Alrighty. Now, the monster notes here, these will very be very, very helpful for a certain part of the game. I won't go into detail, much details about that yet. But it's a one-time buy item. Alrighty, uh... Oh, I forgot to buy some powder. I'm in. I'm a dingus. Okay, this guy is actually charging a lot more for his stuff than what Donnie was charging it. Goodness gracious. <sighs> That's just... Wow. 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 Okay, just uh, give me a quick sec, guys. Want to look up something? Now, Monica has the long sword in it. So, it can be upgraded into the Bastilla sword or the um, broad sword. I'll go into a bit more detail, do a bit more research on that at a later date. But for now, let's just have to do uh, one more trip of the Rainbow Butterfly Wood before I actually end off the episode here. One or two, really. <clears throat> okay, so... Strange trees. Defeat all enemies in such and such, and defeat all enemies using only items. I'm gonna have to do something about that later on. Yeah. Okay, move to this floor. I don't know, Max. If that's all you got to defend yourself, it's going to be pretty tough dealing with monsters in this of this forest. You think so? I'm sure do. Here, take these. What are they? You receive 200 crystals, two destruction crystals, one wind crystal, and one sea dragon crystal. Wow, all this? Yep. You can upgrade your ramps and give us some real punch of those. Choose a crystal from the item menu and spectrumize it. Synthesize it with the weapon you want to upgrade. Then, when Sibelius reaches the next range, you can use the build up command. That will turn your wrench into a mighty fine weapon. Very good. Try it out, and here's a little extra something for me. The wrench gains six more synthesis points. Wow! <laughs> okay, I did not know that. So thanks, Monica. Okay, so here we are, strange trees. Uh, now. Oh boy. The coin came up, devil. The devil harsh your sword WHP. Oh boy. Yeah, so you have to be careful when you roll that coin. Okay, so we got some armband powder. That's always good. Uh. Antidote. Uh, pumpkin head. One sec, please, guys. I'm sure one of the things we have to do with those enemies there is to dissolve in that pumpkin. Okay, dangerous pumpkins. Here we are. When it swings its weapon, the pumpkin can be a danger one. Catch it in the act, head. Okay. Gargoyles yell. Nice. Speaking. Okay, got that one. Pause that. Okay, so I know what we have to do here.
There we go. Dangerous pumpkin. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I did not know I could do that. <laughs> That I can basically whack back those pumpkin. That was a, that was actually a good surprise. Okay, so I caught these three taking a nap. Switch to the right pod. And like I said, I need to use the right. I'm going to be using the right pod on the bigger enemies here. Yeah? Okay, these guys here will spawn some smaller versions of them that actually explode on you, so be, be careful. Was an apple? Ouch. That was my fault. Oh, fuck a Nora. Okay, I'm not paying attention. That guy really was the right punk. Yay, 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 yay. Okay. Let's go this way. I'm gonna have to start using the arm bound a bit more to do some damage. So I'm gonna at least rank it up a bit. And yes, I'm that idiot who still likes to rank up his weapons. Shut up. Oh no, not these things. Okay, that enemy is gonna be... One of the scoops here is to catch that thing jumping it through the air. Come on, jump at me. I'm standing like an idiot jump. Oh my. Damn it. Okay, I don't know what that status is. Stop spinning stuff and then jump. Okay, so it doesn't actually tell you what status effect it has. You have? Come on, come on, come on. You are going on my nerves, Mole. Oh, come on. Gotcha. You can have missions enough for me already. Okay, so that's cursed. So basically, you won't be able to swap out your weapons while on the effects of cursed. Play a game? Fine, we'll play a game. Game on.
That was annoying. And I only brought that on myself. Uh, slash branch. Okay, this is like one of those gate keys from the um, <laughs> the channel key from the um, startup um, from the underground water channel. Okay, Max, switch to Steve real quick. Okay, I gotta remember the block. Okay, switch back. I'm doing terribly today. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh. I hate these things. All this lurking to shrink up a weapon. Typical. A map of the area. Always nice to have. Wrong button, you idiot. Oh, that was full of map already. Check this over here. Flamestone, okay, and gun repair pilot. Flamestones are flow throwable items, much like the bombs, you see. Except they deal fire damage instead of the bombs, which only deal uh, regular damage. I really need to get back into doing Dark Cloud again so I can actually finish doing the um, deep demon shaft for you guys. Because at this point, I'm just pretty much neglecting. Uh, Stay calm, just stay calm, eh? That's not gonna get you anywhere, fat boy. Yes, they can. Okay, pick this up. Some more repair powder. We'll use that in a sec. Excuse me. Okay, that spider web you see there, that's what we need to use the tree branch on. Sounds strange, but it's the end of it. But the tree branch is always a good way when you want to clear away a spider web. web. More antidote drink. One band repair powder. The spider web is blocking your path. Okay, open the menu. Here we are. Flash branch. Yeah, you see, some uh, attacks can't be fully blocked, so they still do damage to you. Okay, let's switch back to Max and get Steve out. We know about the yellow mark. Ah, oh, pressing the wrong button, you fool.
Do I have a key? No, I don't. Okay, so I've been poisoned. Ooh, we got another long sword. Ooh. I'm just getting all sorts of hurt in this episode. Hmm. Alrighty, I'm running out of time for my recording, so let's quickly make our way back to the exit and uh, get out of here. Oh yeah, another thing uh, that changes about the game is, depending on the time of day that is outside the dungeon, it can also affect it on the inside as well. There's a nice little change there that actually, they actually added into this version, to the second game here. Alright, where's the sword? Here it is. Where is she slashing? In the... Alrighty, across we go. to the dungeon real quick. Yeah, I don't know why I had to answer that. Oh yeah, because I was going to do some on-screen stuff. Nothing too major, mind you, just uh, trying to look some stuff up. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll show you the support for the channel. And uh, with nothing else to say, thank you all once again. I hope you all have a good day. Take care of yourself, people, and drive safely. Bye-bye.